I think it is because you said I'm going to create opinion content. Yeah, you're right. And then you said okay. I'll go through audio, right? So okay, good point. It, all of these combined, you can really use any of these. You know, any focus and any format can be paired together, um, and that's that's what the matrix is really about. You know, choosing one from each side. Um, when I talk about focus first, what I mean is sometimes we have situations where, especially a client, will say, "I need a video idea. I need." an mm -hmm. infographic idea, I need a white paper, right? And then what happens is as the creatives, we're forced to take something that may not fit in those boxes and force it into being a video. And that's when we end up with boring videos, right? Or force something into a white paper. And like that would have done so much better if it had been a blog post, right? So that's where we wanna avoid choosing the format first and then trying to shove a story into it that may not be a good fit. Uh, so when we start with our focus and we figure out, okay, this is what I want to say, then we just ask, what's the best way for us to say that, the best way to bring that story to life? So then you're selecting the format that's most suited to it. Um, we also have people who say oftentimes, well, I can only use certain formats. I only have uh, certain formats that you know are affordable to me or that I have resources for. That's totally fine. I still think you should start with your focus figure out what you want to say, and then ask, how do I bring that to life in this format, right? You're still starting with what is it that I want to say, and you're just choosing from a, a shorter list than 10 of your options for how to bring it to life. 